Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. We'll take a look at its news as well and then we'll cover the price action for the intraday plays, swing plays and how Tesla has been behaving so far and the, what the price action is telling us on Tesla. With that, please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes and also if you are here for QQ, tech stocks or semiconductors. I covered those already over the last few videos on my channel. So definitely feel free to check those out as well on my channel. This video is dedicated only for Tesla in depth analysis. All right, let's go over first some news. And this is a bit of controversial news actually. So Tesla threatens Cybertruck buyers with lawsuit and $50,000 in damages if they opt to sell within a year of purchase. Now, um, Tesla goes on saying that, um, to summarize, okay, if a user sells the Cybertruck for any unforeseen reason and Tesla agrees that they warrant an exception to its no reseller policy, the user has to notify the company in writing and give Tesla a reasonable time to purchase the vehicle at the price listed on the final price sheet less 0.25 well, dollars per mile, reasonable wear and tear, the cost of repair, and blah, blah, blah. Um, Tesla does say, so if anyone is in the breach of this agreement, then Tesla will take them to court uh, for the damages of 50,000 or the resale value, whichever is greater. And Tesla may also forbid or refuse that user from buying any future Tesla EVs. Um, so all in all, it's a bit of controversial, um, you know, um, take from Tesla on the Cybertruck buyers, you know, because let's say if someone's financial situation, at least this is my opinion. So if someone's financial situation doesn't apply for them to hold on to the cost and maintenance of Cybertruck because they are pre-ordered it, let's say a year ago, right? And, but their financial situation changes. Now they have to go through all these red tapes and there is no guarantee that Tesla will allow them to sell it. It, it creates a lot of, you know, um, uneasiness, right, in, in people's mind. So, sure, some orders may come in as for cancellation. But I also feel that, you know, once someone buys anything from someone, they are in the full ownership of it. They should be because this is more than you know, controlling just for, you know, your own profitability that, hey, no, you bought it, but hey, no, you can't affect our profitability because what it does also, what Tesla, I think, is fearing here from the financial side of point is if people start flipping them for profit, this will take away eventually that uh, the eagerness or the demand from the other people who are going to be there for waiting for a year. So, Again, yes, it makes sense for Tesla in their business that, hey, no, we got to catch up to the ramping of the production, but hey, we, we want those buyers also staying around. We don't want other people's making money out of our, you know, product. So again, any take can be taken. Like I personally don't own Tesla. So, well, but for, I, this is just my opinion that I believe that if someone has bought something, they can use it anyhow they want, considering you know, there, there are fine lines as well between um, uh, how much of enforcement of certain type you can add. Yes, there are some moral, you know, enforcements that should be there. But then on the other hand, uh, as for someone who is putting in so much money to buy something, I think they should have full freedom to do whatever with it they want to do, right? Um, after they own that because they did, you know, uh, buy it from Tesla. And, you know, sure, they can add some more categories criteria here that hey if you purchased all in cash yes you fully own it you can do whatever you want but if you did buy it using financing then hey no you don't fully outright own it so you, you can't resell it right unless you fully own it right so yeah those at least uh, let's make it work it out for both sides right there i don't think there should be a complete dictatorship type of red tape into it um for just one person's benefit so but that's just my opinion all right um, okay, now let's take a look at price action here for Tesla. So let's start off with the weekly interval and a um, few important things I want to draw your attention towards is so Tesla is finding that Confluence supported 250 weeks moving average so far. So technically it hasn't broken below that, but it's getting 
choppy, right? And we'll cover that in our um, this daily interval. Um, we long time ago broke this bullish channel on Tesla right over here. Um, so yeah, that is gone out of the picture completely. There is another channel that Tesla is in, but that's to the downside. So let's talk about a few things. I'll show you some of the data as well on the short volume side and all that stuff. But so as for the channel that Tesla is in right now, it is in this bearish channel. And right now it rejected it after consolidation at the mean reversion line and which also is in a confluence with um, this 220 days moving average right so technically we are full-on bearish guys at the moment in the price action um, continuous rejection happening around it is still a candidate for it to the downside anytime anyhow if we break above both now 20 and well right now if we break above 200 days moving average we're going to break out of 20 days moving average that is going to give it a bullish sentiment to Tesla and Tesla can easily then run up to $240. But unless that is not happening, this upside is not coming. OK, um, yeah, that will Tesla when it comes out of the woodwork, like it just snaps, right? It's like a rubber band. So as soon as it's going to break fully, this it's going to snap. Um, so right now seems like this area is wanting to be held 194 to 208. We did see some buying come in here, right? Let me actually show you some short volume percent on Tesla over the last week, how things happened there. So let's cover that. And guys, this is part of my indicator, all these levels, the dashboard and the short volume percent. And this is applicable across all indices and stocks. You can you know, apply it on any of the charts. Um, if this is something interests you, details are in the description below of this video. And that's where my Patreon link as well is. That's where you will find all the membership details. All right. So as for the short volume percent on Tesla here, uh, we, all right, so that's something, and again, guys, if you would have had this indicator of mine, you would very well know by now that Tesla was being shorted hard over here already, 35% volume. Anything for Tesla around 35 and above is considered high for me. So we see that many short sellers started piling up here, like from 26, as soon as we went above, 200 days moving average, we started seeing short sellers piling up and then we are seeing some continuation to the downside. Now, we know how much short sellers have piled up here. And that's why if we break out of 200 days moving average, the squeeze that's going to happen, that's going to also be a hard squeeze. Yeah, that's going to be a, like a snap, like a kaboom to the top, to the upside, right? Um, but anyways, if this pressure continues, Tesla will keep falling, right? So this is where this data comes in helpful. I usually show this data on my videos on the weekend um, and if this is something you want to check on daily for yourself guys this part of my indicator okay now um, as on the daily level volume is fine RSI is fine nothing you know outlying over there so uh, that's all good now let's take a look at hourly interval and let's start cover i gave you some of the swing plays already on the daily interval let's cover some intraday and swing more uh, plays on the hourly interval for what we are seeing with tesla all right so tesla is chopping around the sentiment we didn't see, well we did see some rejection at 200 hours moving average after breaking below it however uh, you can see that we did finally come back over it so technically yeah if someone tried to play short below this area 211 above that level should be the stop loss because right now the sentiment is to the long side at least for a day or two let's we'll see a few things and I just want to check a couple of things on the settings of my indicator and let it load oh yeah it already loaded yeah that's fine and I think I, I can leave it up there all right so yeah so anyhow what are what am i looking with tesla as for any plays on it so if we have a break of 215 dollars uh, because that's also an area of resistance here i do expect tesla at least on daily level test again 224 to 226 um, and i think that's where also is the 200 days moving average but if again like if it depends how strong the volume is but again that opens up it again up to 242 but 
if we start breaking below this $211, you can continue expecting downside on it. And as if we break $205, guys, this will start falling to $177 uh, on, on the daily interval. Now, let's take a look at, now this is your, you can combine it with intraday or swing, however you are comfortable, but always have a stop loss next on the other side of these levels. Now, um, let me take you to the five minutes interval and let's cover some more specific details on any intraday other place. So you can see some orange lines showing up right now. And this is my, um, you know, the daily level plus, which is very useful if you are a day trader. Uh, you know, you want to see the price reactions at uh, important levels. So these are the levels you should be trading at. Like so that you don't take positions blindly like here, you don't take positions blindly like here. You these are the areas where you would see the most price reaction, um, and this is these are your confirmation zones. So, but anyways, now looking at Tesla um, on the five minutes interval, the other levels you can be watching if we are not breaking below the level of two hundred and ten also. This is also a confirmation to the upside. Um, yeah. Technically, the way Tesla has closed, um, at least in a day, it's not going to fall below this level of 205. But if we start weakening and breaking below 210, it will start going down here to 205. And then you can expect in coming days for the break to the downside on Tesla. All right. But anyways, guys, this is all for this video for Tesla. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.